Right. I, I'm kind of terrified, not going to lie. I'm not going to try and pretend. Uh, I'm a big baby when it comes to scary movies, scary games. Well, scary movies I'm okay with. Scary games? Yeah. Streaming Silent Hill, the short message. Time loop plays. Silent Hill, the short message. Right. I just also posted to social media that I've done a massive typo. Quick, can I fix it? Um, so this just came out yesterday. This is on the PlayStation 5. It looked terrifying. And uh, I'm a big baby. I'm not going to lie. I... Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to fix this typo as well. Nightmare. Nightmare. Or? Right, there we go. Right, cool. Um, whew. So, installed very recently, as in within the last half hour, sat there wondering whether I should play it alone or allow everybody else to watch my pain and suffering. And I think it's going to be mostly pain and suffering because I have a funny feeling this is going to be pretty scary. Um, options are pretty limited. Controls look fairly simple. Move, inspect, camera, turn around. Um, all right, let's get into the nitty gritty. important message here as well. Always feel free to reach out to people close to you, even strangers on the internet. You'd be surprised at who would help you if you've ever got any problems. Just to go into the back of that. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. It's kind of cute. Nice. Hope she doesn't die. <laughs> <laughs> I can already feel the hairs on my arm tingling. Yeah, sure, Maya. No problem. I like your wallpaper too. Seventeen forty-five, full battery, which is good. Decent signal. No Wi-Fi though. That sucks. Oh yeah. Maya All right, let's see. What do you mean she told you to come here? Why would she take you to this place, man? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this already. <laughs> Can I just call it quits? Um, what does the buttons do? Nothing. Uh, the graphics are pretty cool. I do like the, the aesthetic. Sun. And the door closes behind me. That's great. This model. Is it this building? 
Right, okay. Well, this is the villa. Quite a nice building. Right. Four, two, six, seven. The plan to rebuild Kerstad, an overview. Kerstad is a town with a long history of private border stronghold in recent years. Those in their 20s have begun leaving en masse, causing concern. The aim of this wide scale project is to rebuild Kerstad and restore it to its former glory with the help of Chinese investment firms. Okay. The name is Revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 208. Have a long have long been a problem, but by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for the new Ketterstadt. Okay. Wow. So this place didn't always suck. Our parents dreamed of this. Well, this is cool. They've got Pookie Bear. Pookie Bear is good. I I don't like this place, man. It's already giving me bad juju. Plans to rebuild kittens that have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing it to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced the plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered. <gasps> Two attempts to rebuild, two failures due to unfortunate cir ex external circumstances. Kettenstadt has struggled to bounce back with increased unemployment. The city council is considering ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area. But as of yet, no effective measures have been Everyone's implemented. Losing their futures. That's all adults are. Nah, go Save away, demon. Go away. Like... Wait, I can open my phone. Wait, I'm, I'm in. Emily, are you alright? Are you asleep? Still asleep? Sorry if I woke you up. Didn't see your job yesterday. You're still not feeling good. You're taking your meds. Mm. No, I'm not taking my meds. Right, cool, cool, cool. So there's notes and then there's the camera. Why do I have a funny feeling... <laughs> no exit. Hello? Hello? Where are you, Maya? Hello? Oh my god. Like doors randomly closing and shit's not not cool. Flowers, perfect place to keep them. No exit. I'm trapped. I'm you think? Trapped. Notice of provisional meeting to all villa residents. We have received many inquiries about the management of this building after recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more firmly. We hope you can find time to attend. Sure. Is it because the place is an absolute shithole? I have a f mm. Hello? Hello? I don't like the doors closing behind me when I'm not touching them. Like, really don't. It's just freaky. Let me out. No, I can't get out. And I don't have controls over how quickly I can turn the camera as well, which is kind of... Ah, oh, that's really pretty. Well, at least there's cool art. Beer? Do you want to get drunk? For the graffiti artist, spray paint and blank wall areas you need to are all you need in Kerstad. The walls are a particular apartment or building are the canvas for several others, with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star C B features her work here. Given her passion for flowers, it's only fitting that her name is C B, which is short for cherry blossom. C B's art continues to captivate the hearts of the young, so we reached out to her for con comment. 
keeping her eyes fixed on the new piece she had this to say. All I'm doing is showing what these girl what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art, it's probably because they're experiencing the same thing. CB added that the flowers she depicts are on the young girls she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming their past traumas or at least their desire Everyone to do so. I can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. I mean, that is true beauty, though. I like the painting style. It's beautiful. Did Maya do this? CB. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... amazing. Mm. This city is a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Wait, is she real? Don't no. Worry about what yeah. Think. Be proud. Ah, it's dubbed. <sighs> How could I ever be proud of myself? Because you're... A Uh, that's a noise in the background of a baby making noises. Oh, my skin is crawling. <laughs> uh, nope. Wait, I I have to go that way. There's no other other crap I can do. Is there? Man, the feeling of dread I'm having right now is crazy. I don't like it. Ah, even the door opening is like so dramatic that you know something's going to be lurking somewhere. And I have one complaint. Oh. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. Don't worry about it. How are you feeling? I'm okay. I can actually kind of get some rest now. I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. It's all good. Now, I'm still a little tired, but I'm going to get up soon. <sighs> That's a relief. So one thing I was going to say, the one complaint that I have about the graffiti is there's no cocks. There's no penises. And typically when you come to a graffiti filled place, there's always at least one or 100. Hell no. Creep. Insane. Uh, What's with this place? Why all the sticky notes? Loser! Stupid! Liar! Crazy! Cry, baby! She never said anything nice. Child abuse, neglect, and care stat. A recent statistical survey has shown that the rate of the child abuse and care stat last year was nearly double that of the average other developed nations in Europe. The recent economic strife is, and its resulting poverty are thought to be the cause. My mom loved me. <sighs> Crybaby, loser, get lost. That's a hell of a lot of fucking post it notes. Anti 
antidepressants. I've taken enough medication. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> So many post-it notes. How did she get her hands through behind above? Like, I don't know. Okay. What if we have an open door? Oh, there's roaches. Let's go. And a bath of blood. A razor blade. So someone's ah, oh, they've proper done a number on themselves. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't do it. I'm sorry. Down the street, not across the road. Jeez, right, so we're scarred. I'm not going to lie, the graphics are really cool, and those cockroaches are pretty smart as well. Stop being so dramatic when you open the door, man. There's just going to be something on the other side. Oh. Oh, I'm called Anita. Oh, when a girl says she's fine? Uh, uh it's not fine. Oh, it says, I'm fine, you don't have to worry about me. Well, obviously, I'm going to, I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, to be honest. Lies. Talking to adults doesn't help. Some of our classmates were hospitalized. You don't have to do this alone. I know. I'll let you know if I need anything. And those guys deserved it. Oh, harsh. They feel bad, you know, all of them. Alright, so something proper brutal's happened to this girl that we're playing as. And she's gone through some tough times, that's the problem. It doesn't help that you're in a My crazy place. Uh, there's something here, right? No. 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 Where am I? Oh my god, I'm dying. I'm, I'm dead. I'm, I can't. I don't think you're safe because you closed the door and and it went into another room. What what what? You here? I'm in the studio. Yeah, I'm here, but <sighs> so we're safe because we closed the door. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of panicked a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Teenage suicides continues at. The infamous building, a rundown apartment complex in Kerstad has become known for its suicide with teenage girls jumping from its roof practically every year. Despite repeat events, the building abandoned ever since the development manager company declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. The young and employed are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, though with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Meanwhile, local residents' security concerns continue to grow. Please. Not Maya too. There's a fucking monster on the bottom floor, man. Her art is cool, though. Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. 
They bloom beautiful. They fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. <laughs> Why is she not replying? Come on. We went back. We went back in time. It was 1745. It was 1746 for a second, and then we're back to 1745. So maybe we're not actually in reality. That's maybe we're just stuck in a time loop. Ha, get it? Right. Well, that's like crazy bad music, right? Can we get out the window? No, of course we can't. Like, get out the window and be safe. No. Can we see outside? Oh, we're actually up a couple of floors. And there's a kid screaming outside. Yo, you don't have to deal with what I'm dealing with. It's not that bad. It doesn't run deep. Hello? Mr. Monster? You still there? Hello? Monster. It's gone, right? Where is the studio? Here. I mean, the whole place is a studio, right? Man, the graphics on this is wicked cool. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said that they were ashamed of the risky selfies they posted online and they also claimed they experienced anxiety over not getting any likes on such photos. What all of the kids had in common was extremely low self-esteem. The greater their anxiety and lower their confidence, the more pronounced their reactions were to positive attention. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like online is difficult for adults to comprehend. Furthermore, even when acknowledged, the teenagers could still could not view their actions positively and quickly reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. Teenagers who are not yet psychologically mature run the risk of experiencing this toxic quest for validation. How absolutely true that is. We had people fishing for likes way back in the 2000s and it was pretty bad now it's even worse oh, the famous suicide spot i mean it's wild that it's famous right graphically though this game's so beautiful Snapshot of that, and edit it. It's so bright. Can I get in? No. Where do I go? From back whence I came. Uh, yeah, so this game's pretty wild. Oh, we've still got. No, we don't. Okay. Right, we've got a zoom feature, I didn't know that. That's good. There's my room. I mean, there's so much cool art. I like the art. Wait, what? Every little noise has me on edge. They feel bad, all of them. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide right away. So? Once you're back at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give me shit if I didn't come back for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? told you I can't go it's not for me studying isn't my thing I told you I would help you it's fine I can't do anything don't know what I'd do if I got in that's not true 
you're way too hard on yourself. Be proud of who you are. Wait, what about those drawings you showed me? You could audit an art class. It could lead to a job. I'm not Maya, okay? Emily doesn't get it. Gotcha. So hard on yourself. So you don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town say graffiti as nothing but trash doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. Oh, how cute. There's no way. Maya's adorable, by the way. There's another Pookie Bear. Pookie! It's so fluffy! Can you not, like, take a teddy bear and cuddle it or something and be... Right, okay, well, there's CB. Can we not... escape? Obviously not. Jeez. I'm never gonna get used to those doors open. There's gonna be something behind the door at some one time. Are you here? We're in the studio. Wait, what's behind this? Is this one of her works? Is this your studio? Skiz and Bush. Are these Maya sketches? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. Yeah, they're beautiful. They seem happy. But scarred, right? Yeah. A new life. So full of life. <laughs> are you here? Maya? Where are you? This place is dangerous. We need to go. Maya, respond, please. Why won't she reply? Where are you? Crazy. Maybe. <laughs> Aren't we all? Um, there's another cool picture on the wall by CB. Talented artist. Cute as a button. Oh. Work in progress. She's on Twitter. Let's go. Or X. I'll never call I it X. Followers again. So new followers here. I need to upload stuff like this to get as many likes as Maya. Sexy. Loving it. No, not if you're fishing. You don't need to upload depressing Stop shit. The photos no sexy stuff, no followers. Wow, you hate your followers? <laughs> Congrats on reaching your follower goal. Answer. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. 
I was thinking selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have gotten mad like that. Thanks, Anita. I guess I haven't accepted Maya's death yet. Huh? Wait, what? Wow, that Why was expected. Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's... dead? Wait... Maya's really dead? No... So who be texting? Uh, how... how could I forget that? Because of the meds, baby. <laughs> yeah, officially got my hairs on end. Cool. Thanks, game. Thanks for giving me some chilling vibes that I was just not really looking forward to. Got to step out your comfort zone sometimes, I suppose. Yeah, boo. Why do I have a... Uh... Like, I don't even... I... What the fuck is that? Go away. Oh, I can't, man. I just can't. That ship. Maya died. But her art lives on. Like a true artist. Even more followers. Yeah, I'd be jealous of your friend as well. She had thirty-seven thousand followers, but she follows you, so that's the most important part, right? No you get clout. Never going to notice me. By association. <laughs> Jump, do a flip. No. <laughs> Wait. This Wait. Is where I was joking. No. Here goes. What are you doing? Uh, no. You just have to put some cat pics or something online. You'll be fine. That was the only low res image there was her picture. They could have done that a little bit better. Um that was the message. Uh again, if that hit you differently and my commentary or <laughs> fear didn't help you with anything, then look there's numbers online, there's people that you can reach out to for sure. Um that was Silent Hill, the short message. And I 
think that is the end of this short story narrative driven thing. Um, I didn't get killed, so I wonder what would happen if it did. Um, but I did ended up dying anyway by <laughs> doing a flip off the building. So anyway, that was uh, something else. You stuck in a time loop. Get it, get it. Do you get it? I think so. Did you find it? Find what? I can't leave till you find it. Is this really you, Maya? Can't leave till you find it. Maya, you're dead. You're not her. Can't leave till you find it. Who the fuck is this? You can't leave till you find it. Tell me. What the fuck? Right? Man, I thought that was the end. I was going to cut the stream because I was like, okay, that's cool. It's a nice little... So I have to f find something? Oh, no. My battery. No. Uh, hell no. <laughs> no, no thank you. I am not down for this if it's got no no light. Round two, I guess. Um I'm gonna to go towards the crying. Hello? I have no phone either, so it's just gonna be pitch black. Right, this is uh What do I have to find? What do I have to find? If I have to uh, Look, this girl really just wants to get some followers on Instagram and get a bit more likes, so maybe, like, post cat pics or dog pics. Ah, oh, it's been ruined already. Wait, are we... We're in a different... It's all your fault, loser. Ugly. Do this. Bitch. One thing I can say... None of the girls that are portrayed in this have been ugly. Oh, someone's really bad at darts. Like, really bad at that. What are they aiming for? And you frightened me earlier, but I was too busy dealing with my other fear to not be afraid of you. But now that I see, like, the darts playing is kind of a little bit. Um, what's over here? Children who turn trauma into tales, solitude, and anxiety in teenagers, part two. All of the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experiences and. Interestingly, all of them conceptualize those issues as grandiose stories of sorts. One girl placed herself in the role of a tragic hero, convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her loving real mother existed somewhere else. Uh, another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata, believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms. Those convenient tales in the face of extreme adversar adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred. The greater the trauma, the more grandiose the story surrounding it. Uh, welcome to the stream, whoever's in the chat or stream. Um, I'm playing a game called Silent Hill, the short message, and I'm kind of terrified. I've had a couple of moments already. It's oh, my, back on. my phone's back on as well. 
I can't believe all this art's been destroyed, though. That sucks. How could somebody do this? What is this shit? Your art sucks. Worst shit I've ever saw. Some people really seen. Haha, <laughs> Skywalker, welcome to the stream, man. Uh, <laughs> fuck, this game's absolutely horrible, man. Right, what what do you expect me to do when I've got all these things around me? Can I move? You missed it by like five minutes, man. I got chased down some street, uh, some corridor, and I, I lost my shit. <laughs> like, really lost my shit. Wait, that was her death place. She's not dead? Well, I'm gonna investigate that. So I've got no guns, no no anything to protect myself. I have a phone and all I can do is interact. Inside the fog of social media, solitude and anxiety in teenagers. All of the teenagers interviewed said they were ashamed of the risky self- Oh wait, we've read this already. Right, okay, so that's fine. There's gonna be something fucking lurking in one of these corners, man. Sorry for- just like before. She's stuck in a time loop, this is great. My name's relevant. You feeling okay? Good enough to get out of bed. Sorry for being a bad friend. So, is Maya really dead? Why are you asking that? Please tell me. I still can't believe she's gone either. Wish it was a lie. She seemed perfectly fine before it happened. So, Maya really is dead then, yeah? Ania, are you okay? Are you getting enough sleep? Kinda. I'm taking some really good meds. Haha, <laughs> yes, meds are good. But what about therapy? That doesn't really do much, you're to be so honest. Good to me, but you're leaving me behind. Maya didn't, really didn't tell you anything. No. All she talked about was a book that she read recently, but still I feel guilty for what's happened. Even if she didn't tell me anything, I should have known something was up. Did Maya really not say anything? Yeah, reach out to some friends that you've not heard from. That's the story. So what do you think of the book? This is Maya. Cute as a button. The author killed themselves. Let's go photos. Let's go Skywalker. Don't laugh if I get my pants filled with shit something because this is beautiful. freaky as fuck. From something tragic. It's kind of enchanting, isn't it? I wonder what they were thinking. Right before they died. Face with tears of joy rolling on the floor laughing. I didn't think you'd share your thoughts in a letter. You really are shy, aren't you? I actually kinda like that though. You write in a really flowery and passionate way. Call the post-its, man. This is like fear factor, man. <laughs> please Maya I don't know what's happened right but please go easy because I've already had one moment of panic I don't want another oh, okay. I mean are they not going to every noise has just got me on edge I... that's the door closed nice If you don't want food, do what I say. No, if you want food, do what I say. In Japanese culture, there's been a sense of beauty and sacrifice with harakari, killing oneself and slicing one's stomach, being a prime example. The idea was that by taking your own life, you symbolically purge the world of your transgressions and purify yourself. This concept can be confusing to many Westerners, with young people incorrectly assuming the Japanese yearn for a beautiful way to die. 
Modern Japanese people, however, do not view suicide in such a positive light anymore. And the life they value is not the biological variety, uh, but rather a social one where death is needed to protect that life. Give me some food. Man, I don't want food that bit if you're going to speak to me like that. Jeez, I'll make myself something. What a bitch. Yeah, I read this. This is the art. So this is Maya. Maya is the chick that we saw just in the video there. And she draws these things on the walls in this abandoned building that probably wasn't abandoned at some point. Um, and some crazy shit happens all the time. Like there was one thing that chased me down a corridor and I didn't really know what to do. I panicked. It's kind of made out a few girly noises, but um, apart from that, it's like the main scariest part so far. Wonder what those guys are talking about. Fortune telling? A lot of people are getting into that. Huh. You don't believe in that stuff? Well, I think there's something real about it. My great-grandmother was a fortune teller. I hear people here used to treat her like some sort of a prophet. But they all eventually turned on my great-grandmother. Guess you can predict other people's futures. But not your own. Well, I'll, I'll try not mention that Maya was wearing cute little fluffy white socks, right? Tarot cards. <laughs> no point predicting my future. You're so dim and gloom. So the girl that I'm playing is gets no likes on her social media, right? But she posts like selfies with like depressing statuses and stuff. And Maya's like an artist that posts like happy content and gets like sixty-three thousand followers. She just needs to post like post pictures of pussy cats or dogs or show a little bit of uh I was ready to say cleavage, but that's kinda inappropriate. But you get what I mean. Left or right, trash room, let's go trash. Let's go, baby. I'm home. The graphics are something else, man. This is all your fault, everything. You're a heartless bitch. You stole my only friend, my place in this world, all of it. And you don't even care. I'm invisible to you. I fucking hate you. You're not talented. You're not special. You call those shit stains art. <laughs> you came out of nowhere and ruined everything. Fuck off. 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 Quite a few times. Get the fuck out of my life, you piece of shit freak. Now, someone's not a fan of Maya. And that's unfortunate because Maya's cool. So is this character. Hello? Holy shit, there's one horrible bathroom, man. There's no poo in the toilets. Usually you would find poo in the toilets. Dutchland Medical University School of Medicine Orientation. Dear incoming freshman, welcome to Dutchland Medical University, founded in 1709. DMU is one of the Europe's uh, oldest and most revered institutions at state-of-the-art research facilities eagerly await your arrival. Orientation details. When September 24th, 2021, 1130 to 1300, wear School of Medicine, Central Lecture Hall. Please wear a mask when attending, because you know, this is for the college COVID. Wants to go to. Oh, speak of the devil, here she is. Hey, Anita, you got a minute to talk? Sure, what's up? Seemed kind of out of it before. If something's bothering you, you can let me know. I'm, thanks, but I'm fine. Fine's never a good answer. Anyway, sorry to bring it up. Don't want to cry. Nah, it's okay. I don't mind. Hey, we should go shopping together sometime. I haven't left my house in what feels like forever. 
Plus, my brother's coming here. You okay? All right. Yeah, I'm just going to try and avoid him as much as possible. So shopping, yeah? We can find you something cute. Nah, I'm good. I'm not a fan of crowds. And nothing looks cute on me anyway. Oh my god, you're so depressing. Stop talking like that. You're way too hard on yourself. You've got the looks. You just need to find the right outfit. Yep. Too hard on myself, huh? Amelie's the only one who thinks that. I think this play, this this girl that I'm playing as needs to be friends with this girl here and get rid of this girl here, right? So I think that's probably what it is. She needs to realize that this girl needs help. Amelie needs help. And I should be trying to focus on her to give her help. But we'll see. We'll see. There's going to be some mad twist for sure. October 17th, 2020. I'm finally focused on my studies, so I think that I might pill an all-nighter. It won't be good for my skin. I can just hear people call me troll and nerd, but I don't care. I have to make it to college in the city. Mom and Dad are counting on me to do well. I'll make them proud by getting into my first choice. All right. Time to out the books till morning. November 9th, 2020. Dad was talking today about how there was a plan to rebuild the town. We were going to use a bunch of funding from China to turn this town into something better, but everything got cancelled because of COVID. Well, that's topical. Uh, 2020? Was that when COVID struck? Is this predating COVID? Is this one of those things that is like a precursor to what COVID was? Because I'm sure it was like December when COVID started hitting. Anyway, sure, it would have been nice if it had gone through, but I just couldn't see it happening, even if things had worked out. Not in this place. It hasn't been special since I was little. There's nothing to do. The buildings are ancient. It's a dump. My future isn't here. It's in the city where college life is waiting for me. Everything riding on my entrance exam next year. I have to get out of here before my brother comes back. Wait, is this... Am Wait, maybe this is Amelie that we're actually, like, tracking. I'm so confused. Wait, who's this? That's your pal. Stay home alone! Stay home alone. And that's, like, my kitchen. Not... August 24, 2021. I got some materials for my first choice in the mail today. I'm going to be a college freshman, so I'm so happy. I still can't believe it. Mom, Dad, I'm going to study my ass off and be the best daughter ever. Thank you so much for everything. Uh, 20, September 22, 2021. Mom and Dad are yelling at each other, talking about bankruptcy. Wasn't everything supposed to work out, even without that rebuilding plan? So that this means they're out of money, right? Does it mean I can't go to college? All that hard work for nothing? No way. Don't leave me. Mom, I can't stay here. I can't be stuck here with my brother. September 23, 2021. Mom just left. She told me to get out of the way. I have to get out of here. I want to disappear, but where would I go? All of this is a bad dream. All of this is a bad dream. This is all a bad dream. Okay. Right, cool. What can we find... Wow, there's a load of reading. Uh, young student found dead, possible suicide, September 25, 2021. Around 10 a.m. on the 24th, a local resident reported seeing an 18-year-old female high school student fall from the roof of the Ketterstadt apartment building. That's the building we're in. Uh, the girl was rushed to hospital, but then pronounced dead two hours later. Um, they must have had a stutter. Um, according to school staff, the girl was distraught over not being able to attend the college due to troubles at home. No note or diary was found, but police are still, still believe her death may be suicide. Amelie's not like this, though. Right? Uh, does that mean we should be friends with Amelie? Maybe? Question mark? December 23, 2020. I haven't been able to study since my brother came back for Christmas. He's nice. It doesn't interrupt my studies or anything, but I still can't stand him staring at me. I know he was probably just messing with me back then, but I've been scared of him ever since. It's made me hate any guy looking at me. I can't believe other girls walk around school showing that much skin. I think I'm finally finding my study groove. My test scores are really good. I'm worried about how much my parents are fighting recently, though. They were yelling at each other again today. I asked my mom why, but she wouldn't say anything. Uh, this is it. Test day tomorrow. Mom told me I should be proud of myself since I worked so hard. I'm feeling great. 
She's not my real mum, but I know she loves me and I love her. Mum, I'm going to be ace. I'm going to ace this test tomorrow for you both. I really hated the way her brother looked at her. I bet she wants to leave to get away from all that. Help me, step bro. I'm stuck in a evil, horrible, abandoned apartment complex. Hello? Yeah, that's not creepy as fuck, no? Oof. Freedom. Oh, we're in school. Right, okay, and this is weird. School. Face with tears of joy. <laughs> he gets it, he gets it. <laughs> uh, I'm only making light of just now because I know there's going to be a bit where I'm going to start. Yeah, man, this is... I've already had a jump scare and it's probably going to get worse, so be prepared, man. I'm not going to be all this happy, cheery way. Shit's about to go weird. Hello? Dumb. Holy shit. Fuck you. Asshole. Go away. <laughs> Please stop. Can I get past? Hello? No? Can I just get out of here? Ah, fuck y'all. Wait, where do I go? I can't get... I can't get past these Muppets. Back. No, this is great. Was it you? Like, I can't... Oh, wait. Look up. Oh, uh, hell no. Oh man, this is horrible. This is like being back at school. So is your ma. <laughs> Hello? Oh my god. Please be somewhere nice and warm. <laughs> oh, you fucker! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh my god, please. This is brutal. 
This thing's chasing me, man. Oh, it's actually right behind me. This is not cool. Uh, this is terrifying. I'm trying to, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. This is. <laughs> Go away. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm dead. Chill, breathe, 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 breathe. Go out, right, left. This way? No. No. No, 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 <laughs> Just kill me already, please. I'm lost. Where am I going? Fuck me. Why are you chasing me? I, I need a minute for that one. That was pretty intense. <laughs> I actually have sweat running down my top lip. It's not, not a good look at all. I'm glad I've not enabled my camera, man. This would just make it worse. This is uh, Silent Hill, the short message. It just came out yesterday night. It's like just arrived, Play PlayStation 5 exclusive, I think, I'm not too sure, but... I... we're kinda... Just keep on going straight. See, I don't like this place, this place is like... Going around in circles, man. Keep on going left, 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 right? We'll go left, left, left. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Not again. What did I do to deserve this? <laughs> Fuck you, Maya. Bad time. <laughs> did you find it? Find what? Find it. Oh my god. Just tell me what I'm looking for. Find it. What the fuck am I supposed to find? Right? Alright, we've read that. Wait, it's finished. It's me. The girl in this picture is Amelie. Oh, I thought it was you. This guy looks familiar. They're hurt. Where are you going? Oh, wow, there's more pages. Yeah, that's right. Amelie. Hmm? What's that? Oh. You like what you see? Yeah. 
Come closer then. Wait a sec. You two are from my class. Uh huh. Those glasses look good on you. Uh, sorry, she's so cute. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. Oh, cool. It's the character I'm playing. You're always welcome. <laughs> 